40-year-old Candy Tissot of Gadet Denery had just knocked off from work as a security guard at Wasco's Denery plant when a barrage of bullets rained down on him and another male around 9.45 p.m. on Monday. Tissot's unresponsive body was found near the Larishus Junction Denery. Seeing him lying down on the bed in the hospital, it wasn't easy. Heartbroken family members spoke to News Force on Tuesday morning in the aftermath of the vicious slaying. We just heard that he was walking on the highway and uh, he got shot by uh, drive by shooting. You ever had any problems with anybody? Not that any one of us know of. He was not in trouble. We don't know any about that, anything about that. According to reports, Tissot and another male sustained multiple gunshot injuries on that fateful night. The other man allegedly sought cover from the deadly onslaught. He was later conveyed to a medical facility for treatment. He survived the onslaught, but Tissot was not so lucky. Too much violence. We cannot continue to cope with it. And people, innocent people are dying. People who we don't even know who they were, if they were in trouble with anyone, are dying by the gun. People who did not live by the gun. The sister of the deceased describes the overwhelming sadness that has befallen the grieving family. Everyone is very devastated. That's very unexpected news. We never expected that it would have, you know, his life would have ended that way and so sudden. Um, my mom is crushed. Everyone is devastated trying to cope with it, taking it uh, every, uh, every one minute at a time because everyone is just lost for words and sad, broken. I would teach you at work. You would come to visit me at times because I don't live here. I live in Denry and it's so hard. He was the life of the party, the life of the family, my best brother. The Larry Shoes Denry ambush is just the latest tragic example of the island's pathology of chronic gun violence as authorities confront the growing problem of a proliferation of illegal firearms on the nation's streets and a culture of enmity among rival factions. Anyone with information regarding this incident is asked to contact the nearest police station or the crime hotline at 555 for anonymous reporting. Solaj Alfred, HDS News Force.